What is good with y'all, man? So today I'm going to be giving my final opinion on Madden 22. It's March. The game is pretty much kind of in its, you know, final cycle of just, you know, gameplay wise. Not sure if they're going to roll out another AP update. They might, they might not. I doubt they will. Um, content wise, you know, they're going to be start getting out some of the last promos. A lot of people, when they stop playing Madden, I would say it's in that Aprilish range. That's when a lot of people stop playing it me i played all the way into the summer i played a game all year i know i'm a little crazy say what you want but i'm gonna give be giving my final opinion on the game we're gonna be breaking down everything from gameplay to just you know menu stuff all kinds of stuff i got a huge list of stuff so this could be a pretty long video so you know what i mean uh let's get into it first off what do i rate the game on a scale of one to ten last year madden 21 i gave it a seven out of ten and after playing Madden 22, I actually want to change that rating and bump that 7 out of 10 up to a 7.5 out of 10. So I want to give Madden 21 a 7.5 out of 10 um, after playing Madden 22. But Madden 22, what do I rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm going to have to give this thing a... I'm going to have to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's pretty low. That's not very good. You're probably still thinking that might be a little bit too high. No, trust me. 6.5 is... That's pretty, that's pretty low. That's, that's not good at all um even though i still play the game every day just because i like football and i just i don't know i like i don't I really, honestly i don't know i do not know but let's go ahead and get into this first up we're going to start off with gameplay stuff because there's a lot a lot a lot of gameplay stuff we're going to start off with the defense side of the ball um offense in this game is very 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 easy now why is that you, you might be thinking oh maybe just because i'm really good da 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 well, maybe you are pretty decent. Maybe you're decent at the game, right? But the real reason why offense is so easy is because defense, since I started playing Madden, this is the worst I've ever seen defense in this game. This is the, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, and it's hard. And you're probably thinking, oh, it should be hard, but it's hard for all the wrong reasons. That's, that's the problem. It's hard, it's hard for the wrong reasons. It's not hard in a good way. Some things are supposed to be hard. This is hard in a lot of wrong reasons and we're gonna go ahead and get into it right um so let's see first up let's start off let's talk about deep halves deep halves in this game man oh man oh man how many times have you guys got bombed by a post route out of i don't know bunch bunch tight end uh tight slots right now obviously at this point of the game we all know how to stop it you gotta kind of use it and uh play it yourself or just send hella pressure right but we didn't know how to stop it because we're thinking, well, I got a deep pass shaded up top. I got an inside third right here. You're doing everything possible that you would think would logically stop it. And it just doesn't. I'm sorry to hit my hand on my desk, but you're like, hey, I just can't stop it. There are just some post routes in this game that literally get behind. They get behind every zone. I got a post route myself. It's out of a ace slot. And let me tell you something. You can't stop it. You got to use it. You got to use it. Or you got to man it up. And you, you, gotta, you just can't. You can't. All right. And that's not really how it should be there there should always be a counter for something right if i put a certain route combo out there in the field and let's say my opponent knows exactly what i'm about to put out there he should be able to make the adjustments to stop it and in this game sometimes you can't and that's just um that's bad like deep halves for example right you know a deep half is supposed to defend that deep side of the field in this game there are times deep halves come down now obviously if you shade underneath okay that makes sense but let's say i shade up top right so i shade up top the deep half still come down sometimes without even defending that side to have that side of the field it's just it's it, they don't deep halves in this game i've never seen them like this obviously we've dealt with them for this long but i still have to break down that they're not good they just they're terrible you guys know i don't have to go crazy in depth with them um curl flats so that okay so a curl flat right you guys know what a curl flat is that's the little that's the little purple thing okay a curl flat let's say i put my uh curl flat on five yards that so let's say i put my my right linebacker when i fire a curl flat he's supposed to run to the flat and play anything basically in that five yards in that flattish area i have seen it to where um a curl flat that's supposed to be going out to the right plane a running back in the flat has played a drag coming over the middle of the field all the way to the left side of the field a guy that was on the right side of the field 25 yard curl flat. I've seen it. That's not, no, that is not how that works. He should never be going across to the left side of the field. That should never happen. And it's basically what I'm just saying is the zones in this game, 
I mean, if you're a guy that likes to play a lot of zones like me, you know how I know how zones work. I know where guys are supposed to be. I'm trying to put them in the right place. That's how I run my defense. And there's times these guys just don't care. They just do what they want. And that's just kind of a fine example of what are we doing? You know what I mean? Um, another thing we're going to talk about here for defense is defensive users. Uh, the defense user, now I, it's a little slow, but I don't have a problem with that. I feel like a lot of people will bitch and complain, especially in the beginning of the year about the defensive user. I think it's fine. If you know what you're doing, you can make a play. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I actually like it like this because how it used to be originally on last gen, you could just run around in a little circle and play around right the field. That's terrible. It should not be like that. I don't have a problem with the user at all. What I were about to talk about is how a defensive user can literally run into er bump every single route on the field clearly pi by the way and just ruin the whole concept of what you have going on and that there's no flag there's no penalty for that i swear to god they don't i bro i don't even think i i they don't call it they don't call it against me at least when people do it to me uh i can tell you that much so that is something that just shouldn't really like i don't know that that shouldn't be like that i mean there's because if i let's say i have a like, you know what I mean, right? You're setting up a really good route kind of, but you know what you got going on? And he just runs into everybody and boom, now it's ruined. I mean, there's gotta be some type of penalty for that. It just it shouldn't go down like that. They've gotta find a way for guys to work around that or do something because that's, it's kind of corny to be honest with you. So that, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys have dealt with it. It's definitely, it's pretty dumb. Um, another thing is that defender is getting out their brakes late. So let's say I have a, Let's say I got like a 10 yard cloud flat or you know, yeah, let's say I got about a 10 yard cloud flat, right? My corners on a 10 yard cloud flat. There's times that the corners just don't react properly. And you're probably saying, oh, that's just play recognition or stuff like that. But I have guys that have like 95 plus play recs and stuff like that. And there are times they just don't, their reaction time isn't there. Like the ball gets thrown and it takes them like two seconds to be like, oh, hold on. Like it's getting thrown right at them. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like defenders reaction times aren't like, you know like this like this now i can understand if he has a, you know maybe a lower play rack or something like that okay well maybe it's going to take him a couple of seconds to react to what's going on or he has low zone or something like that you know what i mean it's going to take him a little bit to react to what's going on but you know these guys got at this point of the game everyone's pretty much got like 90 95 90 plus this and that so it's like guys should be reacting to things like that like that and being right on it and it's stupid because you, you said you're putting once again you're putting guys in the right place but they're just not doing what they're supposed to be doing for all the wrong reasons you see what i'm saying so a lot of times defense just does not get rewarded in this game that's one of the things right there um out of reaches we've all seen them we hate them the out of reaches on defense are out of control i mean the guy could literally throw the ball right through your guy's body and it will say out of reach like let's say like He's got his guy on a five yard hitch. I'm standing right in front of the hitch. I played it perfectly. I'm about to pick it off. I get out of reach. The ball goes through my head. Yes, I swear to God, I've seen it. The ball goes through my head and it says out of reach. He puts his arm out there like that and it just says out of reach. Out of reaches have got to be fixed. Like, I understand how, how out of reach is supposed to work is when you're actually out of reach of picking the ball off. But there's so many times where you're not out of reach. You are in perfect reach to pick the ball off and it says it. So that is something that has to get fixed because that is like, I mean, like, that's insane. Like, that, I feel like the out of reaches are one of the biggest bailouts on defense because it's when a guy throws a Stevie half the time, and it's especially when you have Acrobat, you know, you could have just snatched that thing. It's just, it's insane. The out of reaches are bad. They got to do something about that. Uh, swatting. Swatting on defense. Oh my God. Swatting. I mean, I can't, I've lost games because of swatting. I mean,. The SWAT, I mean, it's been a terrible mechanic in the game. I mean, it's 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 always been inconsistent. If you actually try to SWAT the ball, you might be giving up six, which doesn't make sense. Like, I say, you're, sometimes you're, cause you're, you know, sometimes it's fourth down, right? Let's say he's going deep with the ball just to throw it up, almost like it's about to be a punt. And you're like, okay, well, I want to SWAT it so I can get the ball at the 25 instead of being at the other 25 type thing. You feel me? So you're like, all right, I'm just going to SWAT it. And then you swat it, your guy completely misses it, he catches the ball, and now he's got a touchdown. It's happened to me, it's happened to you, it's happened to everybody, you know what I mean? So I don't understand why, but but it's crazy because when he's when he when they throw a wide open pick on first down, you're hitting wide to pick it off, and your guy just swats the ball. See what I'm saying? They seem like they're really good at swatting the ball when they know they got an easy pick, but when you want them to swat the ball, they just completely miss it. So that's something that also just makes absolutely no sense to me. Um Another thing is uh, having pick artists on and still getting mossed. 
I have, I think, seven acrobats and four pick guards on my defense. That's how I run my defense. I want turnovers. That's all I want. Um, and there's times I still get mossed with pick guards. I still get mossed with pick guards. It just, I only have it on because I don't know about y'all. Pick guards is very good, especially you put on your safeties when they're trying to go deep and stuff like that. Um, you're usually your safety catches pretty much everything. You're mossing the uh, offense. And that's because, you know, it's pretty easy to get agged in this game offense it's, oh especially you got some deep out elites and stuff like that those guys are they're mossing every time so um they need to honestly make it to where pick ours is like zero ap or something because i shouldn't have to waste ap on that and i shouldn't have to worry about getting mossed 24 like even by like devin hester like why the hell is darius slay getting mossed by devin hester i like, guess it's just like are we serious you know what i mean so i don't know that that's just annoying uh low balling wheel routes we've all seen the wheel routes we've all been attacked by the wheel routes the wheel routes are one of the best routes in the game just because um nothing really plays them well you can get something to play them but you have to be like very specific in your zone drops um but let's say for example i have it manned up it's 50 50 if i'm gonna get the pick or not you never know how your guy's gonna play the man coverage which i'll be honest that makes absolutely no sense like sometimes he'll play the wheel route perfectly pick it right off and then sometimes he, he his whole body just gets flipped around it doesn't make any sense i've never seen anything like it um and basically if you just low ball the wheel route probably like 70 75 80 percent of the time your your running back is just going to catch it every time as long as you uh low ball and aggressive catch it uh but if you could click on fast enough to defend it there are times you can make a play on it but it's it, it's just that, that that's got to get fixed you know what i mean like that just has to get fixed so hopefully they can do something about that uh another thing is away team latency now the reason why we're talking about away team latency for defense is because um that's the only time it's really a problem right you guys ever have those games where you're the away team and you're like hmm, i'm dealing with a little bit of latency it's because your opponent is the home team and it, you know it's his like connection and stuff like that he's probably on the west coast or on the east coast or he's on the east coast or on the west coast you know what i mean uh so there's a little bit of latency but it's really a problem when you're on defense because there's a lot of adjustments you got to make on defense. You can't just go to the line and sit in your defense. If you're doing that, then I mean, you're probably not getting stops. You know what I mean? You got to make a lot of adjustments on defense in this game. And um, when you have that little bit of latency, you're done because you're not going to be able to get all your adjustments off because he's all he got to do is go to the line and snap the ball. Everything's great. You know what I mean? But you have to go to the line and you got to make a lot of adjustments to, you know, stop his one play that he just has to snap. You know what I mean? So having a little bit of latency it kills you because in this game you know buttons just get kind of like stuck when you're doing everything really quick sometimes it just doesn't react and when you have a little bit of latency good luck you're not getting them off so i feel like i wish there was a way you could only match it with people like if you're on the east coast with the east coast the west coast with the west coast because sometimes you lose games because that latency so um basically the last thing we're going to talk about for defense is quick snapping in this game, sometimes the best offenses just get to the line and snap the ball as fast as you can because there's times it's like it's really just comes down to if you could just snap the ball before he your opponent gets his adjustments off. Because I literally that's how some games go. Like if I get my adjustments off, all right, nothing's gonna be open on this field. But if you snap the ball before I get them off, then you got what you want. But that, that should not how be the game is. That should just not how be the game. That's just terrible. That's bad. That's just not. That's just not how the game should be. So. That's pretty much all I have to talk about for defense. Now we're about to move over. And we're going to talk about uh, offense. And then after offense, we're going to talk about abilities. And then, like, after that, we'll talk about um, non-gameplay things. I think I'll put some I'll put some timestamps in the bottom when I talk about each topic. So if you guys want to just skip the one part and just, you know what I mean? So, all right. So offense. Uh, we already know this is probably one of the easiest Maddens to score ever. You probably, you know what I mean? which is i mean it's fun you know you're scoring points and all that but then when you got to go on defense it's like all right this isn't that fun anymore but it is very easy to score on offense which um i guess is good for the casual gamer because they could just you know throw a little touchdown and get on with their night but i don't know there's no defense on this game at all we've already we just went over defense so we're not going to go crazy into that again uh quick snapping your opponent is the best offense in this game sometimes we just kind of went over that because you know some guys you know like me i gotta make a lot of adjustments you know to stop these things and if you just quick snap the ball you're golden so yeah 
Uh, and this, I think uh, something that is good, though, about this year's Madden is you don't have to run one offense. Now, obviously, there's the metal offenses. You know, there's one, there's always going to be ones that are better than the others. This is how things is. But in this game, I feel like the cool thing is you can really run whatever you want. Like, everything works in this game. Now, me personally, I've always kind of ran my own offense. You guys know, ace offset. That's what I run. Uh, it's, I just love the offense. I've been running for a couple years now. Oh, uh, and you really, that, that, that's just, it just makes it more fun when you can just switch up and run different things. Uh, cause if anybody thinks, oh, you have to run this certain offense to be good, then you're wrong. I mean, you're just wrong. I'm not gonna lie to you. You don't, you can really run anything in this game. And that makes it fun. Cause sometimes you see, sometimes you see some things on this game. You never would have saw I just went against this one guy. He ran like pistol. It was pistol something with like two tight ends. And, you know, he was making plays out of it. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. You can create your own offenses in this game, which is always fun. It's always fun to run your own thing and run something a little bit different. That's what I've been doing for a couple years now. It's just, it's fun. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's actually a positive. I don't know if that's the first positive thing I've said, but I'm not just trying to be all, you know, Debbie down or break, break in all the negatives here. But uh, when we're talking about defense, there's a lot of negatives. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, running the ball is harder than passing. It is. Think about this. Try to run the ball for all four quarters in this game. I run the ball. I'm actually a runner myself. I run the ball, but I got a lot of dots too, so don't get it, you know what I mean, twisted. But um, it is way easier to pass the ball for four quarters in this game than it is running the ball. It's facts. You, none of you guys could probably run the ball for all four quarters in this game. I guarantee you can't, but you can. Pa anybody can pass the ball for all four quarters. You know what I mean? It's just, I, this isn't a negative or positive. I'm just kind of, you know, breaking it down that it is harder to run the ball in this game. It's not hard to stop running this game at all. Um, I don't even run inside stuffs, and I still don't. It's not hard to stop running this game at all. I don't run inside stuffs or anything like that. Just adjusting my defense probably and shooting gaps and stuff like that. Um, but passing the ball, it's a little hard to stop in this game. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Uh, pocket QBs are pretty much the new, I guess you could say, meta now. Now that, you know, escape bars is like, I mean, expensive as hell. I mean, good. I mean, you still run escape bars and pass the delete. Then that leaves you with about one AP left. But most people now, they're just using pocket quarterbacks. Or you maybe you're using a uh, mobile quarterback, but you're using him like a pocket quarterback. Like me, for example, I'm using Michael Vick with Gunslinger, Hot Route Master. Uh... Because I'm not trying to pay for that escape bar. It's way too much. Now, obviously, it's very good, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's too much. I need, I need things. I, there's a lot of things I need to run for my offense to get it to work. So, um, which, I mean, I guess it's different. You know what I mean? For most of the year, though, I mean, I, mean, I guess for the first quarter of the year, before we got a quarterback with escape bars and some throwing ability, I mean, pocket QBs were still like the meta. You know what I mean? And now, you know, there was that little part where, quarterbacks finally started to get escape and a passing ability that was the meta and now it's kind of back to mobile qbs so um i don't know i think next year basically what they need to do is just they gotta find something around escape bars because uh you know mobile qbs like without escape bars what's really the point of using them because behind the line of scrimmage i don't care how i have a 99 speed quarterback and i cannot run anybody so everybody just feels like tom brady behind the line of scrimmage so i don't know they gotta figure that out um i guess the last thing i want to say about offense is that offense is fun and defense is not i guess that's the best way to put it because offense you know when you when you when you come on the field you feel a lot more like all right at ease i know what i'm doing well i, mean, I know what i'm doing on defense but it's like when you're going against someone that knows what they're doing on offense on defense you really have to just you can't you can't you gotta lock in like you can't look at the chat you can't do anything you have to lock in sometimes it's just how it is um which like i said there's nothing wrong with that but it's for the wrong reasons for the wrong reasons so that's pretty much it for offense and defense uh we're still talking about gameplay though we're gonna go into abilities now we're gonna talk about abilities basically i'm just gonna go through some abilities here just and just kind of give a little bit of breakdown of things that need to be changed or what's good with them you know what i mean escape artist in madden 22 uh is pretty much uncontainable i don't care what you say you can't contain uh escape bars you can send seven send six put a contain do what you want uh you're not containing escape bars if you're going against someone that actually knows what they're doing with escape artists you will not contain them you won't contain them and that is 
probably the craziest thing you've ever heard. It, it's facts. You will not contain that man, which is why they raised so much AP, and I understand why they did. Uh, it's just next year they just they gotta fix contains. They seriously just have the contains have been terrible for a few years now. You know, they have to fit their number one priority. I think for Mad 23, fix contains. You gotta you gotta fix them. It's as simple as that. Um, Gunslinger. I feel like Gunslinger should be cheaper. At Madden 21, I feel like the price for Gunslinger was fine. I didn't ever see a price. I think for Strong Arms was 2 AP. 2 AP. And then Field Generals and Improviser was 3 AP. Scramblers, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more 4 AP. That's fine. It is what it is. Now I'm paying, I'm paying 6 AP for Gunslinger on Michael Vick. This is ridiculous. It's the best throwing ability in the game. They need to revert it to how it was in Mad 21 with Gunslinger for Mad 23. There's no reason I should have to pay that much AP just to be able to get my quarterback to get the ball out. Um, pass lead elite. Pass lead elite should be built in every QB. These are NFL quarter. These are NFL quarterbacks. These aren't high school quarterbacks. These aren't college QBs. Pass the elite should literally just be built into the QB. It shouldn't even have to be an ability. It should just already be in the quarterback. I don't see why that, that we shouldn't have to. I don't even feel it's, that shouldn't even be something to pay AP for. QB should just have it like that. That like QB shouldn't throw the ball like they're in high school if they don't have that on. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Let me know if you guys agree on that. When I feel like we, I mean, these are NFL QBs, these aren't just some Randys. You know what I mean? Uh, high route master. To be honest, I think Hyrule Master is fine. I know some people say that um, Hyrule Master should be built into the QBs. I don't think it should. That doesn't make any sense because then what's the point of even picking plays out at this point if it's just built into the QBs? I don't think it should be built in. I think what they should do is maybe add a few more routes or switch some routes out for the audibles. For tight ends, specifically in my opinion, for tight ends, nobody else maybe switch up a couple routes or that but besides that i don't think hot route master should be built into the qb that doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me i'm not gonna lie that no that doesn't make sense um i do think the new ap update for defense where they raised it to 18 left offense at 14 i do think that was a w because you know it helps it helps you out a little bit on defense because now you, you know you can place a little bit more abilities out there to try to get you some stops so you know, they, which is good because they know that, you know, defense is terrible in this game. It's almost impossible to play. Obviously, they have not. They acknowledge that when they do that. So, um, that was a W. It's just, it's too bad. It was a little too late for all that. I'm not going to lie. It was definitely a little too late. Uh, pick artist, I think, should be free in this game. I know it's a little bit crazy, but I literally think it should be zero AP because of how often you get mossed and agged even by like if it's by a big receiver with like deep out of lead, okay it is what it is i gotta take that on the chin there's not much i could do about that but when i'm getting mossed by you know devin hester Deshaun jackson and my corner is bigger it and i have pick artist on it's just you know what i mean it's just come on bro you know what i mean um Next year, this is kind of something for next year, but it's being based off this year. Escape artist needs to be more balanced um, for mobile QBs because right now, what's the point? Of, what's what is the point of using a mobile quarterback right now? There's no point if you're not using escape. If you don't have escape artist on him, why are you even using him? You're pricing. Well, why do you even use Vic? But I do. I'm gonna use Vic. But I do. I don't care. I'm gonna win games. Um, but from like a very like. AP conservative, very, very competitive standpoint. I mean, you got to use a strong arm or a field general. That's who you should have at quarterback. Simple as that. Nobody else. Um, and mobile QBs next year, I don't know. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully, they either fix contains next year or escape artists is just balanced. I don't know. We'll have to see. But that's pretty much it for the uh, abilities. We are now going to get into like, uh, what is it called? The non-gameplay things. So kind of like the menu things, cards, all the stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into that. Um, first up, we're going to start off with every new promo this year. Or almost every new promo this year. But there has been like a huge glitch that 
resulted in, I don't know, people having to get make rights, people not getting things, people losing things, people abusing things uh, from like the market or just, you know what I mean? All, you know, you know how it's been all year. If you've been up to date with Mad, every time a new promo has come out, something crazy came out with that one supposed to come out. And that's just laziness from the company. Like they're not reviewing things guys aren't checking things they're just releasing things just assuming everything's gonna be okay and it's not how it should be they gotta that's just they gotta stop being lazy and check things like that uh there's almost make rights every week now i don't really open packs so i don't really ever get make rights i kind of just play the game but i feel like almost every week or every other week on twitter i'm seeing um the madden direct which is kind of like their little help thing um tweeting out talking about hey guys make rights which means that if they're giving out make rights when something wasn't in a pack or they messed up guys they get something that they paid for they were supposed to get which once again just comes down to them just not paying attention just releasing things no one's checking anything like just it shouldn't be like that you know what i mean um something i want to talk about with the auction house is i think they need to take out the little price ranges in the auction house you know how like where you can only put something up for a certain amount of coins you, you can't go over like that price like for 80 i don't think you can go over like 16,000 coins or something like that or you see what i'm saying right um i think that should be taken out because there's a glitch on xbox um basically where it's with that one limited time card for the lines the corner uh um, i can't say his name he has that funky name where basically like he's just um you can't like sell him for his actual price like you can only sell him for like 100 coins it's basically they, somebody glitched it and i don't i don't know if they fixed it maybe they have they haven't i don't know but it was a problem for a while and now like let's say you let's say you had pulled him and you're like okay i'm gonna sell him for a lot of coins no you can only sell him for 100 coins like i mean like look at that you know what i mean so i don't know they gotta fix that or just take it out at the game um another problem is we didn't get series two to i think like december if i'm not mistaken yeah we got series two in december so we waited almost how many promos is that i mean that the game came out essentially in like i guess august you get your first series in like i think september ish i don't even i don't remember right we had to wait a very long time to get series two um for absolutely no reason which hurts a lot of people that are no money spent or that don't play the game as much because uh, there's a lot of rewards that you get asked, especially now that they said that, you know, it's different than how it was in the past. You go, it's 50 new levels. It's not 10 new levels. So there's a lot more rewards you can get. Um, so there's no reason we had to wait that long for that. That doesn't make any sense. Um, another thing is the card arts. This is something I've always kind of said. The cards, I mean, they're not really cards. They're really just kind of, I, I, me personally, the way I look at like the cards and like the card arts, it's really like a card sticking out of a folder. Like, just kind of the way the card art looks. Like, you know, you look at, like, some of the older Ultim teams. It was actually, like, cards and stuff. I think Madden 19, when they introduced power-ups, is when they started to make them look like that. I could be wrong. I can't exactly remember. But, um, it's like a card sticking out of a folder. I mean, I don't know. It's, I, it looks kind of weird. It's just, I don't know. It's just something I always wanted to say. No, I got to say it. So, um, another thing is power-ups... I'm not a big fan of power-ups because all power-ups are is, you know, it's a money grab. It gets you to spend more coins because you got to put training in. You got to put this in. You got to get his card. It's just, all it does is make you have to waste more coins. I've never really liked them. They're not going anywhere, though, because, it, you know, that makes them more money because people are going to spend money on it. Now, thankfully, I don't spend money on this game, which is good. I would definitely recommend that y'all don't. There's no need so you can play seasons. You can play weekend link and run up coins like that. It's not hard at all. You just got to put in the work. Uh, but power-ups, not a big fan of them. Uh, changing jersey numbers. I think for sure next year, something that needs to be added is being able to change guys' jersey numbers with the power-ups. You can change their card art, stuff like that. Don't see why we can't change the jersey numbers. Can't be that hard. Um, strategy items. Terrible. The strategy items, probably one of the biggest money grabs they've ever done. I'm sure there's guys out there that have spent hundreds of dollars just to get these strategy cards, which it's sad. I mean, I feel like they should just, there really should be no way to get physical chems on a player besides like the theme team, in my opinion, um, like getting extra speed and all that stuff. I feel like you should only be able to get that from a theme team. So 
I think they should just get rid of strategy items and go back to how it used to be if they want to keep the extra physical cams and stuff like that because this is terrible and if this is a man 23 I don't know bro I'm not gonna like that a lot I can tell you that DCs are still in the game I started playing Ultimate Team Madden 18 and I've been getting DC since Madden 18 this weekend league I got a DC took a loss see what I'm saying why are DC still in the game? I don't know. I don't know how to fix them. I just play the game. So please fix DCs, please. Uh, and the very last thing that I have to say is where's cross platform? I mean, like, in my opinion, I don't think cross platform is like, I think it is very, very overhyped. But the one thing that is the only thing I care about from cross platform is that um, you can play with your friends. That's about it. I do think if they add cross platform, it's gonna be a lot harder to make top 100 in weekend league. And I actually think the game's gonna be a lot more sweatier if they do add cross platform. To be honest with you, I feel like it will be a way harder game. So, um, which I don't care. It is what it is. I don't care who I play. But uh, all I'm saying is, where is cross platform? I know you know people want to play with their friends. They want to give them cars. They want to give them coins. They want to help them out or just you know play with them. You know what I mean? So. That's pretty much everything I have to say about Madden 22. Probably in the summertime ish, I will do like a Madden 23 wish list video once we start getting in that Madden 23 mode. Uh, but for right now, this is pretty much it. I gave you a breakdown on the gameplay. I gave you a breakdown just strictly on Ultimate Team because I don't have anything to say about regs, franchise, the yard, superstar KL, or any of that because I haven't even touched it this entire year. Don't really plan on it. All I do is play Ultimate Team, it is what it is. But that is pretty much good to do it though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man. If you haven't already, go ahead and drop a follow to the Twitch. You see this gameplay you're watching in the background. You can watch this every single night. Uh, if you just go ahead and drop a follow to the Twitch, I would appreciate it. But that's pretty much going to do it. Your boy is out.